Okay, first flight of the day. Estes High Flyer on an A83. And it was a perfect flight. Second flight of the day, Citation Patriot on a C-65. So unfortunately this flight had a bit of a problem, by that I mean the rocket crashed, and it crashed for two reasons, and those were that the launch angle was really too severe, the trajectory was uh, far too much in a horizontal direction instead of a vertical direction. And also the use of a five second delay instead of a three second delay, which basically means that the rocket did not have enough time in the air for the parachute to eject. Now the ejection charge did go off. The only problem was that it went off after the rocket had already plowed itself into the ground. So that's the reason you see the nose cone in the ground there and the body tube laying next to it. It looked like a perfect deployment, but basically on the ground. Fortunately, the dirt was soft and the nose cone came right out, and there was zero damage to the rocket. So for my next launch, I decided to launch the Citation Patriot again, this time at more of a vertical launch angle, and with the use of a C63 motor, or that is a motor with a three second delay, instead of a five second delay, to see if that would help us have a more successful flight. By that I mean a parachute coming out in the air and not on the ground. And the flight was successful. The rocket flew straight up, the parachute ejected perfectly, and you can actually see it coming down on the right side of your screen there in a second here. Oh yeah, that's the flight we were talking about. That's the one we wanted, right there. Looks like everything looks great. All right. Good. So the last flight of the day was the Estes Goblin on a D16-4 Q-Jet. And wow, what a great flight. The Q-Jet had just excellent tracking smoke on the way up and it was nice and loud, had a lot of power. It was a really fun motor. The only problem here, as you can see in the picture though, is that we did uh, break one of the fin joints on landing. I did not use the streamer that came with the rocket. Instead I used a cray paper streamer with masking tape on it because I think those seem to open up better in cold weather. Uh, however, I just, I think that next time I fly this rocket, I'm going to have to use a parachute because the nose cone is just very, very heavy and it just was just dragging that uh, rocket down really, really fast. And that's what caused that fin to break most likely on landing.